everybody, Wanna Wisdom here, gonna do something a little different here. The uh, pool table is actually totally clean. I mean, there's nothing on it. I can play pool right now. Uh, tweet a picture of that. Needless to say, I've had some work done, and uh, kind of everything's been out of commission. I haven't gotten to record or play any games in a while. Part of that's given me an opportunity to kind of redo some things. I've already sort of, <clears throat> my entertainment center, uh, I had like a whole slew of PS2 games kind of on the bottom shelf, because at the time, I mean, that's all I had was a PlayStation 2 back in the day, along with the Sega, the trusty old Genesis. <laughs> but, uh, when I got, like, the Wii, and the, the Wii went up behind the TV, and then the Wii U and the Xbox One just kind of wound up in the front of it, and since I've had to move everything, I was at a point where I legitimately could justify kind of breaking down and sort of cleaning things up, and... I've got some pretty decent shells from Target, but the problem is, like, that's holding 3DS and Wii and Wii U games out the wazoo, so I've got the old PS2 games, whole crud tons of stuff, <laughs> and uh, what we have here, this is the Level Up Stealth Game DVD Storage Tower, it's $19.99, it's available on Amazon and GameStop, and of course the good thing about this one is, is it's available locally at GameStops and that's why I have it. And the reason we're making this video is because the reviews on this thing suck. And what I mean by that, it's not a reflection of the product, it's a situation where half of the people say this is amazing and half of the people say it's a piece of trash and not to buy it. And that's not very helpful. So uh, we've got carpet to work with up here and so that's what we're going to do. I'll kind of <clears throat> break it down anytime you get this big of a box it's difficult to work with but uh 1999 it's dated a little bit we xbox 360 and playstation games right <laughs> so dvds and blu-rays but uh it's obviously it's been in circulation for a while um six plus is the age limitation now you can wall mount it and you can stack it this is kind of what's interesting to me you can stack vertically or horizontally uh, so that should be interesting. Coming around, that is pretty much all we need to know. Uh, shit, according to the box, it'll hold 36. So the problem I have is there are like other towers I found online that I like better. I don't know of anywhere that really sells this type of stuff anymore, particularly for CDs. <laughs> and uh, I'm a bit of an audiophile, and I still prefer CDs over MP3 stuff, especially because Apple deletes my purchases periodically that's another story another day but uh, I want to go ahead and check this thing out and get some kind of move things back around and kind of get it straightened out so we'll unbox this thing put it together maybe uh, I don't know if it's fully assembled or what we'll check on that but uh, stay tuned and we will hopefully have kind of a good review of this thing so here we go all right so here we are we've got this stuff in the floor and we've got a box for your cat so uh, <laughs> we'll do real quick Right here, this is kind of what we need to know. <clears throat> you've kind of got the top, it's got the Level Up logo, that's A. And then uh, you've got the four legs. Two and two, essentially, you've got two that are going to be smooth-sided and some that are going to kind of uh, have a jagged edge, if you will. Uh, let's see, there's a template, and then right here, the bottom, which is going to have the plastic tabs pointing up. If you get worried about the screws, you're like, ah, you know, I hate assembly. Don't worry, that's if you wall mount it, so they do include the anchors to shoot through your drywall. Preferably into a stud, I'm sure, but uh, assembly, we don't need that stuff. <laughs> so here's what the pieces look like again. You'll kind of have to figure it out for yourself, I'm sure. I don't think they're labeled. I didn't take the time to check that. We'll review that upon our assembly, I suppose. But that's kind of what we've got. Again, you've got the pieces like this, kind of the corner ones, and then the differential uh, is right here. You've sort of got the ones that just have the kind of a C. Uh, man, that's really hard to see. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's basically two and two. And again, right here, the one with the plastic tabs coming up. This will be the base that you will want planted. It seems pretty sturdy to me. I don't know. And then, of course, right there, the one with kind of like your silver trim and the Level Up logo, that will be your top piece. So let's go ahead and string this thing together and see what we've got. Tell you what, I have to say I am impressed. <laughs> I said I didn't know if they would have the letters right as I ended that last clip I saw it. This is a D, I don't, you can see that right there on the plastic tab. Uh, this piece here is C, which again, funky lighting, but you can kind of do it. Obviously in person it's easier to distinguish them. This is an E. 
There you go, can kind of see that. And then right here, it's a B. It's upside down, but it is B. Let's see if they've labeled both ends. Yes, fantastic. So, uh, props to Level Up for actually taking time to do that. Not sure that the people that would be frustrated would take the time to find that the pieces were actually uh, stamped like that, but it is a nice touch and it'll make our assembly a little easier. So we'll get to that and see how it goes. All right, so we've got our first leg into place. Real simple concept here. Your rear legs, which are the ones that you attach first. If you note uh, the way this is oriented here, you've kind of got just a uh, sort of a square window and then sort of like a D. And that would, of course, match here with this design that we've got. Uh, note this is a radically different, kind of more of like a clip. And if you pay attention to what would be the front shelves, you've sort of just got like that ported window, which you can now see. Uh, keyed slot on the side. That'll come in and correlate with that. So those will be our front legs. This will be the rear leg. So when you start assembly, you want to go ahead and have everything structured in this manner. And, uh, of course, make sure that facing in, you have the slots to hold your game cases. So we'll go ahead and uh, put this next one on and see where we're at. All right, so the four obsidian towers are now stacked. <laughs> and uh, basically, with just the rear legs attached, it's pretty wobbly. However, when you get the front, it balances the weight out. It's actually fairly stable. I mean, obviously, you've got some play up top. But that will be corrected with this. And this is the top end. Again, you got the Level Up logo. You've got the silver trim. Now, note, when we turn this over and get the side profile, there's not a tab here at the front, but there's one on this side. That's because this is the back. These would be our wall mount points, essentially. So if we shot those uh, white inserts into the wall, then you could thread your screws in. And so keep that in mind. That's a good way to pay attention. The bottom base, uh, just like this, just not decked out as well. And obviously got some extra risers and tab connectors here. But that is the location of the next two. Uh, there's a total of four, obviously. But uh, with that in mind, you would simply place this up top like so. Obviously hard to do with one hand. But again, make sure that you've got those tabs on the back side. Uh, this is fairly cosmetic. The front legs are going to have the level up logo uh, on both sides there. The back side, not quite as polished. So again, keep that in mind. That's really about the only thing I could think of that might go wrong for someone. So we'll snap this thing together and see where it is at. And there it is. Without doing the video and kind of looking at the components through the camera and everything, that would probably take all of a minute and a half to put together, <laughs> which is good. Uh, it's nice to have some convenience and everything. Now, it is a little bit, at this point, I mean, rickety. However, it's, it's not too shabby. I mean, you're not going to ever have a situation like that. Short of someone roughhousing, bumping into it, that sort of a thing. Coming down the side, these, I'm assuming, I don't have a second unit, so I can't say for sure, but I'm assuming that these tabs would actually then rest on one another, allowing you to stack them uh, horizontally, if you will. There's a set of three. Again, the Level Up logo on that front leg. Coming around, this is the back side. You'll note it doesn't look as cool by any stretch of the imagination. Note the two silver tabs right here and here. That's going to be your wall mounts. Bringing this thing up, if we can, it's pretty awkward. You can see those. I can't point at them because I'm just a man with two hands. But coming around again, this is our rear leg. Front leg there, we've got the Level Up logo. Bringing it full circle now, right back where we started. That's what we've got. This is carpet. There's probably half, maybe five-eighths mat, matted down over the years, of course. So uh, I'm not having any problems with it freestanding. It's not loaded. Obviously, if you load this thing, I don't know what your logic might be to start at the top, but you want the weight at the bottom. This is like in real life. Uh, you know, it's it's just that's how you do things. So if you've got 32 games, don't start at the top, start at the bottom. Sort them however you want, but uh, work in that manner. So what we will do now to complete the assembly and review of this Level Up Stealth Tower is we will actually put games in it and see how it performs. So I uh, got to go gather some up and we will be back and do just that. So stay tuned. All right, so I've run down. I picked up a lot of games we're going to stock this thing with. But I should mention the little piece of paper I didn't open uh, that was in the box. If you can kind of see it back there, it is a template. Uh, as you can see here, they don't trust people to measure or they knew people would screw it up. So all you have to do is tape this to your wall, drill your holes. Uh, everything should be in place just for reference. Let's see here. 
Da -da -da. Position template, mark and drill, mount still. So you don't spec out a drill bit size, but uh, figure that out and take care of it yourself. Only thing, make sure this is square whenever you mount this to the wall. Otherwise, if it's not square, you're going to have a caca. It's not going to look right. So uh, very simple to do. But uh, let's go ahead to the other thing that we kind of need to do right now. I want to point this out. Obviously, front legs you can pass through, as you can see by my pinky. Back legs, again, they're going to have a stop on them. But we need to turn this thing and shake it out. So, yeah. Uh, that is obviously more sturdy because there's more surface area on the ground. Uh, you can position it with the logo however you want. My advice, <clears throat> this side looks good. And then of course, this side is designed to be kind of mounted vertically. Uh, looks not so cool. So if you can, uh, put that against your furniture. Uh, or towards the furniture just so this is what people would see not the other end. That's it Let's go ahead and put some games in this thing and see how it does All right, so here we are I've kind of loaded this thing up to get a feel for it kind of showcase what it's capable of but a uh, Couple of interesting things to note now. We've basically covered everything I can for you There's ps2 on the bottom Simpsons hit and run classic game and then from the GameCube We have Super Mario Sunshine from the Wii, we've got Super Paper Mario, Wii U, Captain to a Treasure Tracker. Xbox One, I don't own a single, like, movie Blu-ray. Uh, movies aren't my thing, I don't have one. Uh, but I think the Xbox One is the size of a, like, standard Blu-ray case. Again, I don't know, I don't have any, I don't plan to own any. But uh, it does fit, we'll showcase that in a second. Now, 3DS games, that's Professor Layton versus Phoenix right there, right above the green uh, Madden 16. That is there for a reason. It does actually fit uh, in the slots, obviously, but it's, uh, it, you'll see it in a second. We'll go on. What I'm trying to highlight, though, now the Nintendo DS game, Professor Layton and the Last Spectre, that thing, it does not fit in the slots. It is too thick, period. Uh, then we've got another PS2 game and Vanishing Point, which that's actually one of the very, very few movies uh, that I own in DVD or VHS format. So we'll pull it out, and uh, there's the old Atari anthology. What I did here to put a DS game in, any game case that is thick is also kind of difficult, although that might be because of the DS game. You could essentially, and it would be a really weird to do this I'm not gonna lie but if you built up maybe you just have like five or six DS games put in your regular full-size cases then you could put you know like your DS 3DS games right here stacked on top of whatever disc is in the top try to make that one something that you wouldn't play or pull often and remember of course that they'll tumble down if you put the thing vertical or horizontally uh, that wouldn't really be an option but essentially uh, this thing is not going to be good for DS, 3DS. You could wedge it in there really weird like that, but that's just, that's not cool in my opinion. Starsky and Hutch, how many people have that game uh, <laughs> back in the day? But right here, the DS, 3DS games, they have a much slimmer case. They quit doing instruction manuals. They will fit, but again, it's one of those deals you could stack it in the middle. If you go to one side, as long as you've got like a standard game disc below it, uh, typical console games. It would kind of help support its sandwich in place. So keep that in mind. That's one way you could do 3DS stuff here. Uh, but we'll pull that right here. Uh, again, I assume this is the size of a Blu-ray case. Don't know, don't have any. You can center it. Uh, if you're like real particular with this stuff, you can come in and go... Oh, okay. I wondered why I was catching up. But you can go side to side and it will still catch, meaning we bottomed out over here on the right hand side, left hand side is still supported similarly. Slide it all the way to the left, right side supported. And of course you can just center it as well, so uh, that will work. Obviously though the best fit case is going to be standard DVD, Wii U, Wii, uh, GameCube, PlayStation 2. I assume PlayStation 3 was the same size as 2, don't know, never owned the system. But uh, Wii U, Wii. Super Mario Sunshine, and again, the Simpsons hit and run down there at the bottom. So let's go ahead just to test this 
<laughs> and uh, it stayed steady that whole time. But what I'm going to do is top load this thing, which you should never do when you have the option, of course, not to. And the slots, they're kind of, they get better as you go. But uh, what we'll do is just kind of reverse this order and see what we come up with. I tell you what, to save you time, I, it's hard one-handed to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and kill this. We'll top load it, see if we can get it to kind of fall over. That's basically what we're going for. So stay tuned for that. All right, we've got 10 full-size game cases, with the exception of Madden 16 in there. And it's not tipped over. It's still pretty sturdy. I will tell you, it's a total pain to do this from the top down because... Coming in from the bottom, you help solidify the foundation, and it kind of puts everything in space, uh, spaces the legs out appropriately. Coming in from the top, you don't really have any strength structurally, uh, so you're kind of creating that as you go down, which is obviously a bit of an annoyance, but tin top-loaded, I mean, yeah, it's wobbly, but again, if you don't come by and brush it, I guess if you had a big dog uh, that's not very good with his space, uh, constrainments, or... A crazy cat that jumps on stuff, it might fall, but in normal circumstances, I think you would be golden uh, with this setup. So, uh, again, added a few more uh, games in there, but we'll flip it over. This will test it out. <laughs> so there it is horizontally. And again, the full-size game cases look way better in there than uh, the smaller ones like the Xbox One. It does fit, but again, I'm kind of particular on this stuff. So, But again, is this the best thing on the market? I can't tell you. Uh, it is available locally, which is a good thing. If you've got a GameStop, you should have access to this. Uh, I plan to actually order in some of the, like, the more, I guess, 90s styled game towers and CD towers, things of that nature. Uh, I'm pretty serious about getting this stuff cleaned up a lot better, so uh, this is a step again I might get another one of these and go ahead and put it through the paces. It'll just kind of depend how I decide to do things uh, Personally, I do kind of prefer like the cheap three shelf uh, Units at Target or something kind of you know like an MDF type of a construction, but We'll give this a go, see how it does for us, and again, my preferred orientation on it is going to be vertically, which again, to kind of showcase the strength of it, one hand here, uh, we'll just grab it, pick it up, I don't recommend doing what I do, but uh, I'd say it's pretty stable, again, and I am on carpet, this is not some faux wood surface or something, so... The reviews that I see, I told you they're about 50-50 between it's a POS, don't buy it, and it's fantastic. I wouldn't say it's the greatest thing I've ever seen, but for 20 bucks, if you've got 30, 36 games you need to get stacked, 15, whatever it may be, if you just need somewhere to put them, uh, this is cheap, it's functional. Uh, again, obviously you'd want to load from the top, bottom up, but uh, I have nothing bad to say about it really, so um, not the greatest thing, but hey, it gets the job done and that's what really matters. I've tested it as best I know how, I've tried top loading it, I've tried to make it fall, I've tried to make make it be a total pos and i can't do that because obviously it is not so only knock again 3ds and ds if you do want to use them it'll be a situation put your standard like wii wii u games and then come in ds and 3ds the 3ds will fit in the slots some ds cases you probably i mean you can make it fit but it's it's kind of pushing the fins up and then of course that impacts what's above it so my advice on them again you got 10 Wii U games, throw them in there, 10 DS games, stick those on top, 8 3DS games, put those in. It'll be centered, obviously you'd want to keep it vertical in that case, but uh, again, 20 bucks, I can't complain. GameStop, if you got one locally, they should have these. If they don't, they can get one in for you because they should stock it to begin with. GameStop.com, Amazon.com. In all honesty, the prices I've seen on Amazon have been $19.99 and higher. It kind of depends, I guess, on who's got it in stock at the time. So 20 bucks is pretty much what you're going to give out for this thing. And like I said, it holds 36 DVD, uh, I guess, previous-gen consoles, if you will. It will hold the Blu-rays, uh, the Xbox One cases, but it, just, it doesn't look quite as nice because it's not sized specifically for that since they are a bit smaller. But so uh, nothing else really I can tell you. Aside from all the negative reviews, I don't know if it was assembled incorrectly, if they got a lemon, uh, if they're just super, super harsh on stuff. But uh, for me, 
it seems to work just fine so uh that's it hopefully this helps you out again it's only 20 bucks but again if i could find information like this i would go in and i would have bought two of these and they had two in the store i just got one because i was afraid it would be a piece and uh might go back and grab the other one we'll see how it goes but again hopefully this helps you out it is the level up stealth game dvd storage tower so that's what it is this is what it looks like assembled partially stocked from the top down which you should not do but hey it's doing it it's doing it on carpet so hopefully that answers some of the critiques some of the questions helps you out i'll quit rambling thanks for watching uh, if you enjoyed the video leave a like if you've had issues with this uh, feel free to leave a comment down below if you've got five of these things and it's great do the same but uh, again i could find nothing definitive and i sort of had to answer the question for myself and my results are basically if you need it it works and there doesn't seem to be the issues some people report so i'm cool with that i'll get it loaded up and hopefully tidy things up but uh, like i said feel free to comment down below help some other people out and we will catch you back here for more last but not least just to wrap things up here it is it is 27 i believe games filling that thing up so uh, it works quite nice obviously with the heft uh, it does have some play but it's way more sturdy uh, again building from the bottom up but uh, anyway that's a look at what it looks like kind of final assembly and in, in use so uh, i'm content with it i think it'll do the job might pick up a second one and uh, that said hope this helps you out we'll check it back here later